The vast majority of the methamphetamine consumed in the U.S. comes from Mexico, but the vast majority uh, produced here is from these one-pot labs. Federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies had the opportunity to discuss drug-related topics, including issues in the Upper Peninsula, during the Meth and Opioid Drug Education Summit sponsored by Senator Carl Levin. In the UP, drug trafficking, meth, and prescription drug addiction are the three main issues police officers face. Typically, uh, on Forest Service lands, a lot of times what we'll see is people in the campgrounds making meth, using meth, selling meth. Um, and then they'll dump the, uh, the, the refuse from the labs uh, on Forest Service lands because they want it to be in remote areas. Certainly the trafficking of drugs uh, into the Upper Peninsula is an issue uh, and it's more of a destination city here in Marquette. Uh, sometimes you don't get the largest drug seizures but uh, there is a very uh, vibrant drug trade in the Upper Peninsula. There's a lot of agencies here and a lot of different law enforcement officers that aren't, aren't well versed in that happening. Maybe, maybe don't even know that it happened. Um, or how or what to look for when they see that type of thing or what to do if they see that. So we do a lot of stuff uh, to inform and educate our partners but also the public so that they know what to do if they come across something like that and who to call. Another problem law enforcement agencies are seeing is the rise in heroin addiction by prescription drug abusers. Those pills are so expensive on the street that people switch over to heroin because they can buy heroin on the street much cheaper. And so what we do is, is we have a pretty aggressive enforcement operation working with the state and local law enforcement. But we also know uh, that education, drug prevention, uh, drug treatment, we all need to work together. All those disciplines need to work together to fight this addiction problem. Marquette County has even seen victims of sexual assault become addicted to drugs and alcohol. It takes a piece of power and control away from an individual that they usually try to find another way of having control over their life. Um, turning to substances for coping measures to quell the anxiety is just one of those ways of and self-destructing. Education is key to curbing the addiction problem. And it, it really is a comprehensive approach that's going to get us um, some success. Uh, in, in whether it be prescription drugs or methamphetamine or, or whatever it might be. There is a lot of resources in Marquette community. This is a wonderful community for pulling together for victims and survivors. Always reach out and never stop looking to heal from what it is that you need to 